19. 20. I win again! <laughs> what are you doing? I'm playing cornhole. Duh. And I'm really good. <laughs> I'm Lawson, and I've got a Hold great- Hold on a sec, Lawson. We're not quite ready. But Mom, I gotta go play Ultimate Frisbee after. We gotta get a move on. Just wait. Mom? Okay, okay, rolling. Finally. Hey everybody, I'm Lawson, and I've got an amazing story for you today from Jay, this kid on my street. Now Jay is super excited because his family is going camping for spring break. He and his dad and his sister have packed the car up perfectly, just like a game of Tetris. Jay is already imagining how awesome it'll be when they get to their campsite in just a few hours. The smell of pine trees, the crackling of the fire, the awesome s'mores, as big as a picnic table. But as Jay's dad is closing the trunk, he gets a phone call. It's a big emergency at work, and dad's like, I'm so sorry, but we can't go camping till tomorrow. And Jay's in total shock, like getting hit with a giant water balloon. Jay cannot believe that he's got to wait a whole extra day to go camping. He's so frustrated that he, he snaps at his sister like a grouchy old bear. And he can't keep from bugging his dad. But after a couple hours, Jay realizes something. I'm making us all miserable. So, Jay declares, it's pre-camping day, and shows his little sister how to make their very own camping lantern, brighter than the full moon. They practice their s'more making skills in the most epic way. Then, dad finishes early. He says if they leave now, they can make it to the campsite by dark. Jay is shocked to find out how fast the day went when he chose to wait well. And they all celebrate by bugging each other. So kids, never add bugs to your s'mores. But always remember this, that patience is waiting until later for what you want now. Okay, that's good. We got it. Uh, need, need any help with anything? I can wait. Sure. Can you upload the files? On it. See you guys next time. I just stepped on a bug. Your plans, your dreams are so much greater. Your timing, you keep, it's always better. So when I'm feeling weak, your strength is always perfect. So I'm holding on. Cause I know it will be worth it So I'm waiting, I'm waiting I'm gonna keep on waiting With my whole side and you God, I'm gonna trust in you And while I'm waiting I believe that you are never me
Cause I know it will be worth it So I'm waiting, I'm waiting I'm gonna keep on waiting With my whole son and you God, I'm gonna trust in you And while I'm waiting I believe that you are never me Okay, I got frisbee sparklers. Skyler, I've been looking for you everywhere. I'm drooling over this cupcake. Oh, really? <laughs> it's a dog toy for the puppy my cousin's bringing to the cookout later. Oh. Don't worry, we'll have real cupcakes at the real cookout. Now I gotta wait. Hello, welcome to Story Lab. This week, we're talking about patience, while we take a look at the story of some people who had a little trouble waiting. Why me? Hi, I'm Skylar. And I'm Sebastian. Today, we're talking about patience, which is waiting until later for what you want now. I want a cupcake now. I'm still amazed this one's fake. It may be a fake cupcake, but it's a real dog toy. Hey, let's play real or fake. Great idea. Let's do it. Welcome to Real or Fake, the game show where you have to look at a photo and decide whether it's real or fake. Love this game. It'll be easy, right? Here is your first clue. Uh, hmm. Is that a mop? Hmm. I might need one of those to clean up after the cookout. Wait, that's that's not a mop. I th I think it's a dog. Dog? Yeah. Dog? Dog. Dog. And correct! Yes! It is not a mop, but it is a dog. Yes. Next image. Is it real or is it fake? That's a lot of gold. It looks Really real. But wait, I bet they're chocolate. Chocolate? Chocolate. Chocolate. That is correct. Yes. These are chocolate coins. Next image. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Looks like ice cream. That That's ice cream. We're gonna go with ice cream? Yeah. Ice, ice cream. cream. And no. <laughs> Unfortunately, that answer is incorrect. This image is actually mashed potatoes. They have been dyed with food coloring. You see, advertisers often use mashed potatoes instead of ice cream because it does not melt under the lights. Tricky, tricky. It pays to have a keen eye. Next image. More food. Okay. Sebastian, stand up. Listen, friend, I know it's difficult. I know you're being challenged, but you have to wait for the cookout later. Remember this, you will be okay. You're right, I'm okay. 
I can play this game. We got this. Okay, what are we thinking? What? I think it's a cheeseburger. I mean, if you look at the patty, yeah. the pickles, even the sesame seeds, real. But wait, what if it's a vegetable burger with a vegetable meat? Ooh, good point. Uh, I don't trust my eyes anymore. Uh, you pick. But it looks really juicy. Uh, okay. I think it's a real cheeseburger. Yeah. Real cheeseburger? Real cheeseburger. Real, real cheeseburger. cheeseburger. Unfortunately, that answer is incorrect. This delicious looking item is not a cheeseburger. It's cake. What? It's, it's cake? cake? I did not see that coming. I need it either way. For sure. I'd have a hard time waiting for that one. Speaking of waiting, it's time for... The story before the story. Today, we're in Exodus, the second book of the Old Testament. After God chose Abraham and promised to bless the whole world through his family, the Israelites grew in numbers. But then, the Israelites were enslaved in Egypt for hundreds of years. At last, God sent Moses to lead the people to freedom. Moses led God's people into the wilderness, where God provided food and water, which is where our story starts. Take it away. Hey everyone, I'm Erica. The Israelites had been living under Egyptian rule for hundreds of years. Now free, in the wilderness, they had to learn what it meant to be God's people. When the Israelites camped near Mount Sinai, God's presence descended on the mountain in fire and cloud. God called out to Moses. You have seen for yourselves what I did to Egypt. You saw how I carried you on the wings of eagles and brought you to myself. Now obey me completely. Keep my covenant. You will be my holy nation. When Moses told the people, they were all in! We'll do everything, we'll do everything the Lord has told us to do! God wanted to give Moses a special set of rules that would help them stay connected to God and keep them safe. So. God called Moses to come to the mountaintop. Wait for us here until we come back to you. Anyone who has a problem can go to my brother Aaron. Then Moses and his helper Joshua went up to the mountain. While Joshua waited, Moses went right into that cloud to speak with God. They were up there for 40 days and nights, which is a really, really long time. As you can imagine, the Israelites started to get impatient. They surrounded Aaron and demanded answers. Where is Moses? What's happened to him? Oh, uh, please uh, be patient. Moses will return. Yeah, you keep saying that. We need someone to lead us for reals. Like right now. You should make us a god. The Israelites were so impatient that they forgot all the ways that God had already provided for them. They forgot that they had promised to obey. Even Aaron panicked. Okay, okay, uh, here's what we'll do. Uh, uh, bring me all your gold earrings. The people brought all their gold earrings and Aaron melted them together and formed a statue of a calf, a golden calf. The Israelites went all in right away. Hey, this is the God who brought us up out of Egypt. Uh, what? In their fear and impatience, Aaron and the people actually chose to worship their own golden jewelry. <laughs> Let's feast. Let's make sacrifices, eat and drink and dance before this golden calf. So that is what they did. They sacrificed burnt offerings, ate festive food and danced wildly in front of the statue. But in the meantime, on the mountain, God spoke to Moses. Go down. Your people you brought up out of Egypt have become very sinful. They have quickly turned away from what I commanded them. Please have mercy on your people. Moses, carrying two stone tablets with God's laws, started back down the mountain. Joshua hurried along beside him. When they got close to camp, they heard a loud noise. It sounds like war in the camp. That's not the sound of battle. 
That's the sound of singing. As they got closer, Moses and Joshua saw the people dancing in front of the golden calf. Moses was so angry that he threw the tablets on the ground and they broke. What did these people do to you? How did they make you lead them into such terrible sin? Please don't be angry. You know how they like to complain. They, they said to me, make us a god to worship. So I asked them for their gold, threw it in the fire, and out came this calf. Um, right. That calf just popped out of the fire on its own? Moses knew the truth. He was so angry that people had forgotten all God had done that he took the golden calf and burned it in the fire. Then he scattered the ashes and the Israelites drinking water. It was a bitter reminder of what they had done. The Israelites' impatience led to some terrible things. But even when the people turned away over and over, God remained faithful and continued to provide for them on their journey in the wilderness. The end. Wow, the Israelites really crashed and burned on this one. Yeah, but when you're stressed out, it's really easy to forget all the good stuff God has done. True story. So, what's, what's our, our part, part in the story? story? When you have to wait, take time to focus on what's true. Think of the ways that God has helped you before. You can remember that God loves you deeply, no matter what. You can remember that God is always with you while you wait. Exactly, that's true. And God has also put people in your life to help you while you wait. You know, waiting can actually sometimes make things better. Like cupcakes. If you take them out of the oven too early, you're not gonna get cupcakes. You're gonna get a gooey mess. Waiting well is hard. But remember that you don't have to do it on your own. When we follow Jesus, God sends the Holy Spirit to live with us. And patience is actually a gift from God's Spirit. It is a gift you can ask for. Like every day. Sounds like you both have got it. See you next time. Bye. Bye. So here's the thing. When you have to wait, remember what's true. I waited a long time for this cookout. <laughs> Cupcake? I can wait. There are very real cupcakes at the cookout. Come on. Wait. Thanks for joining us in the Story Lab. See, See you, you next, next time. time. Wait for me. together. Welcome to the So-and-So Show. I'm John, he's Brandon, and I hope you're ready for an exciting show. Hey, you're probably wondering why we're dressed like this. Why would they be wondering that? Well, as soon as we're through with the show, John and I are headed to a spring break backyard bash. Yeah, that's right. A friend of ours named Tater Tot. Oh, his real name is Tim, but he's gone by Tater Tot his entire life. No idea why. Yeah, yeah, but Tater Tot knows how to throw a backyard party. He's yeah. an incredible cook. Smoked turkey legs. Smoked sausage. Corn on the cob. Ooh. 
Oh, and he also always has fun games to play. Oh, yeah. Do you remember when we played uh, bobbing for onions instead of bobbing for apples? Yeah, yeah. My eyes burned like crazy, and I couldn't see through the tears for a week. <laughs> it was amazing. Or that time we played tortilla slap, but instead of tortillas, we used giant fly swatters. Oh. Um, all that to say, John and I are really excited about the cookout. Mm -hmm. How many times have I told you to put your phone on silent during this show? We can't do a it's show. It's tater tot. Oh, never mind. Let's see what he says. Yeah. Uh, he says, sorry, guys. It looks like the weather's about to get bad. The weather. No. Canceled. Move to next week. No. What are we going to do now? We've already waited a month. I don't want to wait another week. Uh, it's not like we can throw the party ourselves. True. No, false. What, what, you think we can throw a spring break backyard barbecue? Of course. Well, it would have to be inside because it does look nasty out there, but it can't be that hard. If Tater Tot can do it, so can we. Uh Okay, what? let's have a spring break inside barbecue. games are kind of lame by ourselves. Yeah, I can't argue with that. Yeah. Hey, why don't we try the barbecue? Yeah! All right. Wait, pull. This isn't working, is it? I'm afraid not. I guess the truth is no one can throw a backyard barbecue like tater tot. True. I guess we're just gonna have to be patient and wait until next week. Yeah, but it'll be worth it. <laughs> I don't wanna eat this chicken. Me either. It's Bible story time with Kellen! Well, I don't know if you can call what you just did fun, but at least it was entertaining. Well, that's one word for it. But we should have just been patient and waited on tater tot. Not gonna argue with you. Waiting is hard, isn't it? You can say that again. Waiting is hard. And a lot of the times while we wait, we start thinking about the wrong thing. We begin to focus on what we're missing instead of what we can look forward to. And today's story is about exactly that. And I would love some help if you guys wouldn't mind. On it. Have fun. Perfect. It's time once again for live action flannel graph. Today's story focuses on Moses and the Israelites. Now this happened after the Israelites escaped slavery from the Egyptian King Pharaoh. Moses led all of the Israelites to a place where they could camp. And while they were camping, Moses went up on a mountain to talk to God. I'm climbing up the mountain. Oh, here I go. Oh, I'm so old. Oh. Ah, I made it. Ah. While he was there, 
God gave Moses two stone tablets with the Ten Commandments carved into them. So this was a pretty important hiking trip. Meanwhile, though, the Israelites at the bottom of the mountain thought Moses was taking way too long. Moses is taking too long. We need a new God. That's right. These were the same Israelites who were saved from slavery by God and led out of Egypt by Moses. And now they didn't have the time for God and Moses to have a little chit chat. So the people gathered around Aaron, Moses' brother, who was like, he was like second in command. And they told him what they wanted which was a new God. You want me to do what? Oh, I don't know about that. Uh, uh, what's that? A pterodactyl? Uh -huh. We see you. Moses led us out of Egypt and now he's Those gone. You have to me. do They'll something. Get They'll back over me. here, Aaron. Yeah, yeah, get get over here. Are you talking to me? So Aaron did exactly what you think a second in command would do. Actually, no, he did the exact opposite. Sure. Give me all your gold. I'll make something. All the gold. All the gold. Thank you. Thank you. Easy now. Okay. Easy. Oh, that's heavy. Easy. Hey. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes, I've got this under control. Ow, 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 ow. That's so heavy. Oh, am, ooh, wow. Am I rich? Thank you. Thank you. Ow. Over here. Okay. And we are stockpiling all the gold. E easy. I said easy. I said stop. Not so hard. One, two, three, four, five. One more. There it is. Now, let me get to work. So Aaron melted down the gold and molded it into a golden calf. Look, everyone. It's a golden calf. Come on, everyone. Let's dance. Why aren't you dancing? Wait, you're supposed to be dancing. Come on, Jediah, you love to dance. Let's dance! Come on, you guys, it looks weird if I'm the only one dancing. The Israelites, all of them, dance wildly before this golden calf. And of course, God, the real one, when he saw what they were doing, it made him angry. Moses pleaded with God to have mercy on them, which God did. So Moses took the Ten Commandments back down the mountain and told them to knock it off. Whoa, Moses, sup? Ooh, I am so mad. I could, I could, I could break the Ten Commandments. See what you made me do? Ugh. I am hopping mad! Urgh. Urgh. You done hop ah! Okay, now I'm done. It was them! They scared me! I tried to run away like this. See? Speed. I am speed. I am so fast. I am speed. I am speed. 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 And then they told me I had to do it. So I took all the gold and I threw it into the fire. And out popped this calf. Tell them, Jediah. Well, why are you so mad at me? Well, let's just say after that, things did not go really well for the Israelites. Moses had the calf burned, grounded into a powder, mixed into drinking water, and then had the people drink it. 
Later, Moses went back up the mountain and returned with another set of the Ten Commandments that he did not break. The end. Whew. Let's give our flannel graphers a big round of applause. So being patient isn't easy, right? It's one of those things that we have to constantly work on. But the Israelites got caught in a trap. They started focusing on what they were missing, Moses, and they forgot all about what God had done for them. And they weren't thinking about the amazing plans God had for them. It happened to the Israelites, and it can happen to you and me if we don't remember what is true, that God loves us and that he is always with us. We forgot what was true today. Yeah, we tried to make a thrown together backyard party when we knew no one throws a party like tater tot. It happened fast. Yeah. It does, it happens fast. But that's why you have to constantly think about what is true and what is right and be okay with waiting until later for what we want right now. It's tough, but I know you can do it. So until next time. Bye. Thanks, Kellen. Well, reveal the question. What can you think about when it's hard to wait? Well, like for this spring break party, instead of being miserable that we have to wait, maybe we could think about all the great memories we've made in the past. Yeah, and, and the new ones that we'll make at the next one. Yeah, or if you're waiting on something hard, like if you're waiting to feel better after you've been sick, yeah. you can help take your mind off things by focusing on your favorite book or your favorite episode of this show. <laughs> oh, mine's the one where you fall down. That could be any of them. That's true. Now, you can also think of all the ways God has shown up in your life in the past. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, we, we should have focused on everything we enjoy about Tater Tot's cookout instead of the fact that we weren't getting to go. That's true. Uh, we should probably appreciate Tater Tot a little more, too, instead of just trying to replace him. What? We, we can't replace Tater Tot. I think today we proved that you are right. We <laughs> cannot. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's from Tater Tot. Oh. The weather's clearing up. The party's back on! What? <laughs> we'll see you next week for a brand new show! Yeah, let's go, let's go, come on! Some onions. Yeah, oh, not me. I don't... Ah, it's still raining! Oh, I lied to hold on to that metal post! Well, I don't know if what you did, we could go back to don't like this. I don't like the sentence. I. <laughs> yes, nice. <sighs> Sounded great. Onion. Oh. Do you want an onion? No. Mm. Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right.